as an Israeli, maybe I have a more heightened fear of Iran and of Hezbollah, who have one of the largest arsenals of um, missiles in the world directed at Israel. So this, is, this also stems my fear yeah, of, of course. powers. But I, I don't think it's something that, that we can ignore. That he, He's not just a uh, uh, kind of legitimate leader that fell off the off the bandwagon. He's supported by some really, really nasty... But can I ask powers. you another question, Sabrina? Uh, yeah, but different monsters. You, like I say, you have to pick your monsters. Uh, as an Israeli, do you not see that fighting back against the powers of ISIS is an important and powerful thing? Do you not see, sitting in Tel Aviv, the need to clearly push back against those that would try to challenge your uh, right to believe what you choose to believe. So, so I think that the strategic threat of ISIS is much smaller than we perceive it to be, and the only reason that sorry, they but, so, to but, be... sorry, Sabrina, sorry, I'm just just go again there on that sentence. The strategic yeah, threat of ISIS the, is smaller. Yeah. But l- let me finish it. The, the strategic threat of ISIS is smaller than what we perceive, but the ideological threat of ISIS is. That, 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 that's their main threat. I think, st- strategically speaking, if we look at their territory... OK, but ideologically, do you know very... what, Sabrina? We just had a truck take down five individuals, four plus one who died subsequently the other day. Do you know what, Sabrina? Ideologically, a truck just hammered into pedestrian, including an 11-year-old and a baby we don't know about yet in Sweden. So I'm sorry, I'm not going to buy you telling me on the radio that, that ISIS are not such a big threat strategically because it's ideologically that matters. Because, frankly, ideologically logically is why someone took a truck and slaughtered innocent people, some on honeymoon, some married for 40 years. Why someone took a truck and slaughtered an 11-year-old in the middle of Stockholm. So I will not sit here and let you tell me, Sabrina, no, I will not give you the airspace to tell me ISIS is not such a big thing to worry about because, believe me, sat here having watched people slaughtered about four miles up the road, it is not a threat that we can ignore. Assad was fighting back against ISIS. This is why I'm angry, not only because I love Trump and everything that he's done, I'm angry because Assad is fighting ISIS. How stupid does this world need to be? You see a few pictures of injured children. Do you think the bombs that we throw down on Mosul, do you think they veer amongst the crowd? Do you think they miss the women and children and just pick out the men that are fighting? Do you think our bombs are targeted just at the bad guys? Do you think there are not casualties of every war? You, frankly, and you, Sabrina, are utterly mad. 